Welcome. My name is Daniel Reardon. I'm an enterprise solutions engineer for Sumo Logic, supporting the New York metro area. I'm sitting in the Philadelphia area today. So thank you for joining my session. Um, this is a session called Compliance Made Easy with Sumo Logic. Uh, and if you're in the compliance world, you may be thinking compliance and easy in the same sentence. I got to see that, right? Um, that sounds impossible. Well, with compliance and Sumo, we, we like to latch on to the phrase the art of the possible, um, because again, it's, it's another use case where you maybe hadn't originally purchased Sumo Logic for compliance, but um, if you realize you know, what is possible with the platform, you might find that um, leveraging Sumo for uh, assistance in compliance um, makes a lot of sense. Uh, so quickly, uh, we're not gonna go through too many slides. Here's the agenda. I'm um, going to just touch on some cybersecurity frameworks, compliance at Sumo. Um, some of the audit activities that we use, um, the different use cases, are our own SOC uses our platform uh, to achieve compliance. And then really improving the audit experience, and we'll go into a demo. So when it comes to cybersecurity frameworks and building your own cybersecurity program, uh, organizations have a lot of choice out there, right? There, there are different flavors of framework for uh, different reasons. And so I've listed a few frameworks here. Um, these are examples of frameworks that uh, some of our customers do use Sumo Logic to achieve compliance around these frameworks. I've highlighted the one NIST 853 in yellow because that is the cornerstone for our cybersecurity program. Our program <clears throat> goes through several attestations and we have a program that has uh, derived from NIST 853. Um, we do consider ourselves one of the most secure SaaS platforms out in the market. Here is a list of the attestations that our SaaS platform does go through. We are a PCI level one merchant. Um, that means that we're considered a you know, cardholder data environment in every one of our instances in AWS. We go through a SOC 2 type two, we go through ISO 27001, CSA star certified, HIPAA and high tech. All our data is encrypted at rest and in transit. And we're currently going through FedRAMP's um, audit. So we're considered in process. Uh, we're really excited about that uh, and for our business, and hopefully we can uh, achieve that FedRAMP uh, in the next few months. We spend over a million and a half dollars annually. Um, that doesn't include FTEs, just on compliance and audits to assure our customers that our platform is secure. So what type of audit activities can you use uh, Sumo Logic for? Um, here are example of different use cases that our, our own SOC has queries for when they go through their audit walkthroughs internally and externally for those frameworks I mentioned before. So over 50 different unique dashboards. Um, and here are the examples where <clears throat> we demonstrate um, evidence and queries of this type of machine data uh, to reach compliance of those various frameworks. So what auditors are looking at for compliance now? Um, these files may look familiar to one, to, to one of you. Um, <clears throat> these really are flat uh, Excel documents, right? Audit programs where an auditor would keep track of compliance, keep track of their notes. You know, there'd be a back and forth, you know, version control issues. Um, it can get pretty hairy when it comes to managing compliance in Excel files. So what I wanna show you today is where you can use our continuous intelligence platform to help your organization reach compliance. Organize compliance with Sumo Logic. This dashboard right here is uh, the CMMC dashboard. CMMC is a new <clears throat> control framework uh, that's derived from 853. Um, and that um, is for the DOD space and organizations that wanna do business with the DOD uh, need to adhere to CMMC by the end of the year. And so we've been getting a lot of inquiries about CMMC. So that's the control framework I want to highlight during the demo. Let's see it in action. So now we're in Sumo Logic. And at first, I want to show you is our, a, a couple different um, frameworks where, um, again, back to the name, 
uh, compliance made easy, you know, the art of the possible. Um, all we've done here to help reach uh, compliance and track it is leverage text panels within Sumo Logic to represent the individual control elements, right? So for ISO 27001, logging and monitoring the section 12.4, here are the four individual elements under that section, and here are the control statements. And so what we can do is leverage text panels and link queries of that machine data to those text panels. So what I did right there is just click on some data. Um, this was evidence of the audit log was cleared events. But really leveraging the text panels and linking hyperlinks to our machine data queries can allow you to represent your compliance um, and what I like to, you know, almost call it is a, a poor man's GRC, right? A governance, risk, and compliance platform. And so we're not limited to just ISO. Here is some <clears throat> other content as it relates to the HIPAA security rule. Here are all individual elements in text panels where we can link queries to. These are elements a part of the HIPAA security rule but let's dig a little bit deeper into the CMMC compliance. Like I said, this has been the, the, the security framework of the month. Uh, we've been getting a lot of interest in how organizations can achieve this compliance leveraging Sumo Logic. And some of that interest stems around, there is a specific control element in this framework called continuous monitoring, right? So there is an element that you know, specifically um, that an audit around cybersecurity controls isn't good enough. You really need tooling that can give you insights into your compliance in real time. So as we talked about getting rid of the use of Excel files and leveraging a tool like Sumo Logic, what we can do is share dashboards like this with our internal and external auditors. Very easily, we can leverage the web page as a URL, a shareable URL, and you can make this URL available outside your organization. You can whitelist who has access to it. You can see who has access. Within Sumo, we have full RBAC for sharing of these dashboards to internal and external auditors. So very easily, you can granularly control who has access and the days of putting evidence out on a file share are over. The days of getting external auditors VPN access can go away. You can leverage compliance dashboards like this. And so let me drill down the, the CMMC domain itself or framework itself has 17 different domains. We've got, again, an area where we're leveraging a text panel so that you can keep track of your control status mark things compliant, mark them not applicable, so that you can have back and forth dialogue with your internal and external auditors. If I drill down into the access control domain, I'm brought to another dashboard of what I like to call the workbench, where we have an external auditor workbench and an internal auditor workbench, where Dave Jones, the external, can communicate with John Smith, the internal, and Mr. Smith can um, answer Mr. Jones' requests. Hey, can you please update the Windows dashboard to include a query showing privileged account access? And so they can have back and forth. And again, we're kind of operating like a governance risk and compliance platform now. But Mr. Smith can go ahead and link evidence to Sumo Logic. So policy documents that meet certain controls can all be listed and corral into a single point of view for those auditors. And it's not just policy documents, it could be evidence itself, examples of your password policy. And then it comes to machine data and queries. Machine data and dashboards, like I'm about to show you, these are table stakes for us, that's the logic. Uh, ability to get visuals from machine data like we're looking at now to help satisfy controls in your cybersecurity frameworks is something that we do very well. So just to sample on that, 
Um, you know, we've got the organizations have gone away from just general user account access to achieve some of this compliance. And they've added an additional layer like MFA. Uh, this is out of the box content for Duo security. And these queries and this content is all available once you get your Duo security data into Sumo Logic. So again, all we've done is leverage text panels to communicate internally and externally with certain part parties. We've got a list of all the elements in the control set for the access control domain, but then we can link content to the different control elements in your cybersecurity program. It really comes back to, as I said, the art of the possible. Um, I hope today you've got to see a little bit of that vision setting and where mm -hmm. leveraging machine data and not just machine data, but uh, mm -hmm. the ability to link evidence and policies all within a user interface that can be easily shared with internal and external doc, uh, auditors can be very powerful and save a lot of time for an organization. And that's my demonstration.